I feel like I should have Aron Naveen playing in the background of this. Hi, welcome, come on in. My name is Aoife and today I am bringing you a very exciting original tag. I am filming this in the month of March, which is traditionally associated with everything Ireland, everything green, and it's also the month of the Irish Readathon. So I thought that would be the perfect time to create my very own Irish bookworm tag. I haven't seen something around the internet that specifically focuses on people who are in, from Ireland and enjoy reading and talking about being from Ireland, books that are set here and their favorite Irish book stuff. So I thought, why not make one for yourself? So the first question of the tag is to introduce yourself. My name is Aoife. I am a booktuber at Pretty Purple Polka Dots. Aoife is a traditional Irish name and it means beautiful, radiant, joyful, that kind of thing. It's a name that you very much cannot bring abroad because as with a lot of traditional Irish names, it does give quite a lot of difficulty to non-Irish speakers or non-native Irish people who are experiencing it for the first time and don't really know the intricacies of the Irish language. I will tell you though that once you have got the pronunciation down, it very rarely changes throughout the language. So if you can pronounce my name, you can pronounce names like Quiva or Nisha, where the AOI also appears in there. I was born and raised in Waterford, but for the last four years, I have actually been living in Germany. What were some of your favorite Irish books from your childhood? So one of my favorite Irish books when I was younger was The Hiring Fair by Elizabeth O'Hara. This was set in the 1890s or so, and I think it was set in Donegal. And it follows Sally and Katie, who are two sisters who have lost their father in a drowning accident. To help support their family after the disaster, they are sold as scullery maids and servants to well-to-do families in the area. There is a trilogy, and I will admit that I've only read the first book, but I definitely do have to go back to them at some stage. The next question is, what books did you study for your Leaving Cert? So I'm going to do it in the two core subjects, which were English and Irish. For English, we did Lies of Silence by Brian Moore and Dancing at Lunasa by Brian Friel, both for the comparative study. In this, you study three different texts and take a look at kind of similarities and differences in terms of a couple of themes and cultural ideas and things like that. Lies of Silence is set in Belfast around the time of the Troubles, I think around the late 70s, early 80s. And it follows a hotel owner who is kind of forced by the IRA to drive to the hotel where he works at and bring a bomb in the car and have it detonate out there. And there's also a kind of a subplot where he is in a very loveless marriage and has been having a woman on the side for quite some time. Dancing at Lunasa by Brian Friel is about the Mundy sisters, one of whom has a child. And they are living in quite abject poverty, also in Donegal. And also the story of their brother, Jack, who comes back to Donegal, having been in Uganda as a missionary for, I think like 20 years or so by the time the play starts. The play is narrated by Michael, who is the son of one of the Mundy sisters. And also his father starts to come back into the scene kind of midway through the book. You also do a single text for your leaving cert where you read an entire piece from end to end this wasn't an Irish piece, it was actually Hamna by William Shakespeare. And I think this was my favourite William Shakespeare play to actually study because I just lived for the drama. And I think I recognised quite a lot of myself in Hamla because neither of us can make decisions to save anybody. And so for Irish, and so for Irish, we studied on trail as our main text. And that is set in like the 1950s, 1960s of Ireland. And it follows a young girl called Maura Nikahasik, who is made pregnant by a local school teacher. And then you see what kind of cultural things happen when a woman is pregnant out of wedlock, what happens to her, what kind of shame that brings on the family, how that brings shame on the whole community, and what these women have to do to kind of survive. And it's also very much a tale of unrequited love, of the struggles of being a pregnant and unmarried woman in Ireland in the 1960s. And I actually really enjoyed it. I know there's a lot of people out there who did not like it, but I really enjoyed doing it. I mean, I, I enjoyed it better than I probably would have enjoyed Peg, let's be honest here. Next question is, are there any books set in your home county? And I had to Google this because I have never seen Waterford come up in a book. I have seen Cork come up quite a lot. I have seen Cork in After the Silence by Louise O'Neill. 
and I have also seen it in Scenes of a Graphic Nature by Caroline O'Donoghue, which does make sense because both of them are from Cork. But Waterford has not come up in any of the books that I've read recently. So if you are an author, I would love to see you feature Waterford in a book. I did find one book set in Waterford and it was written in the 1800s or so. It was The Fly on the Wheel by Catherine Cecil Thurston. I have never heard of it. I do not know what it is about but it is the only book that I know of that is set in Waterford. The next question is to talk about your favourite Irish author. I have a couple of favourites, but there was only one person who could kind of win the crown here. I would go into battle for Marion Keys. I absolutely would. I have read about four or five of her books by now, including this one, and I love how she tackles social issues. I love how she is not afraid to back down against Things like addiction, things like abortion, things like family drama. I love how she portrays those in books. This book of Marion's is The Break, and this one follows Amy and her husband, Hugh, who has gotten a kind of cold feet situation and leaves his wife behind, going off to Southeast Asia for about six or seven months to kind of rediscover who he is, leaving her in charge of everything that's happening at home. And boy, is there shit happening at home. The next question is whether or not you have any books written in Irish and I do have this one. My parents gave me this when I was younger. It is Aoife agus an Chilgarum, which translates as Aoife and the Blue Bottle. I haven't read it in like 20 years but I have kept a copy of it because my partner at the moment is learning Irish and I have a feeling if I give him this book when he's a little bit more comfortable with the language it's going to open it up for him a little bit more. There aren't a whole lot of books actually that are translated into Irish, but it is something that I would love to see done. It is something that I think will inspire people to learn the language. It will inspire people to associate more with the language. And there is nothing wrong with learning a language through reading it. The next question is to talk about your favorite bookshop. And this is going to bring me straight back home. My absolute favorite bookshop in the whole world is the Book Centre in Waterford City. It is right slap bang in the middle of Waterford City. I think it's on John Square. And it is in the building that used to be an old cinema until the 1950s or 60s or so. It is huge. There is three stories in there. The first story is all just books. I think the second one has got a cafe and some musical instruments and stuff. And the third floor up in the top is stationery, school books. Genuinely, when I go to Waterford, I could lose about an hour in there easily. Something that I love about the book centre is that there's a little enclave in the centre of it with a load of armchairs and they are so comfortable. You can grab a coffee at the coffee shop, take a seat on one of the armchairs and take a read through one of the books that you have just purchased. It is one of my favourite ways to pass an afternoon. I cannot wait to go back there. Finally, I need you to tag three Irish bookworms and I am going to tag the three hosts of the Irish Readathon. So I am tagging Leanne from Leanne Rose, Aoife from Words of Cover and Elaine from Elaine Howlin. I would love to see your take on this, however. So if you are an Irish bookworm, please do take this tag and let me know what your answers are. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I have new videos up every week. Now, get on out of here. <music>